That was better. Look at that. Long, long. That was a lot better, Steve-O. So what you been up to, buddy? Oh, not much, man. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Good to see you. What's going on? We're probably gonna cool off here soon. How are you yeah, doing? Yeah, good, man. How's everything? Good, good. Yeah. Hey, hey, look at this guy. Jeez, man. What's up guys, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, we are going to go through our Inside the Ring edition. We're gonna go look inside a training session with the Campbell brothers. We got older brother Steven and younger brother Alex and Steve-O for short. I've been working with him since he was a little guy and his little brother Alex, I wanna say he was probably about five or six years old. Steve-O has made the switch from the glide to the rotational shot very well. He's, he's thrown about 1650, I wanna say, in college. So things that we had to work on with Steve-O, we have to work on, we're working on the sweep leg path and how he's entering to the middle of the ring. He does some really good things. We got some early drop issues. He was, the way he's coming around what we call as a pillar one to two, as he's moving around and into the circle, there's some wrong timing elements and we were trying to correct that. Younger brother, Alex, that had kind of gotten away from some of the things and that's really understandable. There's so much information out there and you see this and you see that and you can't help sometimes to want to try this and try that but what happened was is Alex started to they learned something and I think what it was is an interpretation of what they had picked up from another camp and a very good coach but they were talking about how to work the block arm which resulted in a in the shoulder being in the wrong place and you'll see in the videos that Alex just pulls around and he doesn't have like a really strong block now this is this is a good word of warning to everybody out there be careful some cues that are really intended for more advanced developed throwers that requires a higher level of body awareness and just a more intuitive response a lot of times won't work with younger throwers so during the weekend we did a lot of things and did some drills to help Alex feel how to fix that and we made some really good progress so again both the guys again had did uh, a very good job we're throwing well felt really confident towards the end had some nice things to say so hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching what's going on here in this video and we will see you on the next video so so check it out. Okay, so also, you see how you're pre-flexed? That's called planner flexing when you push. So when you start up like this, there's nothing left to push on. You gotta, you've got to push and turn into it so it's loaded. So it goes this way. If it's already loaded, you're going to push and you're going to pull around because you're going to lose your leg. Hold it in that position, okay? Now wind flat. wind flat feel that that tension and then you twist the hips hips level shoulders level wind level you're in pillar six that was a little better yep right there that was much better yeah good keep it wide yep and then turn around good now just remember hinge to 530 watch here come around Head, yep, hinge, go. Yes! Alex, that looked great. That was much better. Okay. There you go. That was better. Look at that. Around. For all my throwers out there and coaches, you know, we, the thing we talk about in the chain reaction is, is the sequence of how we start. And so that, that has a lot to do with the whole, you know, action reaction. And so in this part of, of the training, we had to kind of just change up some basic little sequence things, not major changes, but just think about the flow of that start a little bit different. And that's what we call our pillar one to two. And this really helped Steve make some really good adjustments adjustments and then that by default started to fix the entry and allow him to load and accelerate in in the middle of the circle through the finish and that's of course how we're going to throw further increasing speed and applying more power to the shot that was pretty good yeah, that's all right okay that was a better throw you see the alignment was real nice pop yeah
See, you're this. This is literally how you're throwing. What? No, no, pay attention, watch. Does that look right? Watch. Look at my upper body. Here's you. Create tension, smash the lower body. Wham, right? Okay, push. See how you're reaching? You're just doing this. You're never opening. Your knees are supposed to open to the direction of the throw. And that's how you've been throwing. And now you can see how that was closer. Good, that's just a few. But I was really trying to get you through. See, Steve-O, you kind of pull that shoulder back too. That was the right idea. That was better, Steve-O. Push, pull, your knees. That's close. Here's where everybody screws up. The arm is, the shoulder's here. If I open the arm, look at the shoulder. Yeah. What young throwers do, they start here. The shoulder's already open. So now what he does is he pulls around. Long, long. That was a lot better, Steve-O. So that's, yeah, that's okay. So here's a perfect example where I want you to pay attention. That throw was so much better. The timing of the release was wrong. And nine times out of 10, you'd go, oh, you know, I missed, I did. And it's like, no, 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 that was, yeah. that's what you want to keep repeating. Okay. That was better, good. I just wanted to basically, you know, hey, it's great to see you guys. You guys came from Utah. I remember when Steve-O was, the first time we actually trained together was when we were in California. That's how long ago. It's been about seven or eight years ago is that you guys came out, right? right? Yeah, it's been like eight years now. You guys have kind of gone through the system and you've veered away from the system and you're coming back to the system just because I get it. There's so much information out there nowadays. I, you know, too, I'll look around and you see different things and, you, and it definitely makes you curious. That being said, we've had this long relationship now. I've known you since you were a little guy. I remember when he was really a little guy and you're thrown at the collegiate at the NAI level, University of Idaho or College of Idaho. College of Idaho, that's right. I just wanted to get, ask you guys how you've enjoyed the system. Like, what do you think about the training and what keeps you guys have come out to California? You've come out to Arizona. I've actually gone up and trained with you guys up in Utah. So what keeps you guys as us being the resource and, and you keep coming back? I mean, I've worked with you for like eight years now. And just over those eight years, I've seen like in my discus, I've seen huge jumps, like 15 to 25 feet a year. Like, um, I mean, my freshman year in the discus was kind of hard. My sophomore year, I tore my Achilles. And coming back my junior year, I worked with you, you know, just on and off the TCR. And uh, I mean, I've just, I picked up so much and I jumped to numbers I thought I'd never reached before. It's just like, sometimes I veer away just because, you know, life gets busy sometimes. and you know, slacking a little bit. But uh, obviously we come back because we want to refine, want to get better. And um, I think that's what really what the TCR really does. I think if you want to get better and make huge jumps and not only know more about the throws and the, the culture, but if you want to just overall increase your knowledge about just throwing in general to become a really good athlete, I mean, this is the place to go, obviously. I think what the key has been um, with the boys is it's been real consistent in, in the messaging. Throwing is unlike any other sport. It's very complicated. It happens really fast. You practice thousands of throws to get two seconds to do your best. And I think that breaking it down into a simpler system helps to refine each part of that throw. And I think that's what really helped us the most. Steven as a sophomore tore his Achilles, a junior came back to be a state champion. And uh, that system was a big part of the achievements in that. Alex, what do you think? For the short time I've been kind of doing this, I feel like I've gotten a lot out of it. Because like last camp, I was only throwing like 70 feet and then once he just told me like the basics and how to get a hang of it, I already gained like 30 feet and I was only like a 90 foot thrower in a stand. So honestly, I really think this program is really beneficial and uh, it'll truly help you out. Do you recommend the um, system? Absolutely. <laughs> recommend the system.